Hey guys, welcome to the Overnight Coder. Today we're going to be customizing a styling plan for a client. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me for this, so I figured I'd just record it. Um, again, we're not doing the complete site. What we're going to do here is take this pricing plan and turn it into something much better. So this is just the standard listing pro. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is um, just kind of, I keep the plans on the page. Um, and we're going to kind of do this a little bit quicker to keep it video friendly, um, but that way you guys can do, you know, your setup as well. Um, I already have kind of like a section that maybe I want to use. Let's just see what this looks like. So I'm going to copy that section. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to copy that section just because you guys won't be able to copy a section you don't have. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my header. Um, just kind of styled up a little bit. I'm just going to go in here, use one of the colors that I've already predefined, um, and then maybe just put a spacer in there. And again, we can come back and kind of style it the way you want. Spacer, let's go with 35. All right, perfect. I do have text. Um, I let you see what I was using. Sorry. Uh, we're going to be using Poppins 600. So I'm going to add a title. Poppins 600, uh, boom. That is going to be an H1 title, so I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to preset a size of 30. Um, and then my color is just, again, uh, another color that you know I've already pre predefined. I might even go with one of the, uh, no, we're going to go with predefined green. I need a little bit of spacing above this. I like to throw in a spacing, uh, spacer, but you can use margin uh, top as well. Uh, I'm just going to drag that into here. I'm okay with 50 for now. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. Um, and also switch it to the text that we want. So let's do pricing plans. Um, and then again, I'm going to switch it over to H1. Let's do select your plan. All right, uh, we've got a little bit of text under that. Uh, I like to do just a little bit of text um, to kind of give it a description that looks like Open Sans 23400. Just again, my, my choice, Open Sans. Let's center it, uh, give it a different color. And then open sands 23, what do we say, 500? I'm going to leave it. Uh, I like this to be a little bit closer, so I'm just going to edit that, go to the advanced editor, and then move it up. I promise we're about to get to the good part. So the next section, um, I like to add another spacer for the content. So this will be the content. And then I like to add another space for the spacer at the bottom of the page. So the bottom of the page doesn't hug the footer. Uh, that spacer, I've been pretty consistent with 150, so I'm going to keep it consistent. So this will be my page. I do leave the pricing plans in here. I'm going to go ahead and update that. Excuse the client server, it's a bit slow. Um, but yeah. Um, so here's a way you can do it without Elementor Pro. I'm going to be jumping into doing this with Elementor Pro, but let's just say I have three plans, so I'd add a column, add a column. Um, I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to paste it in here. Although I know it won't be H1 anymore, we'll probably jump down to H3 and uh, I probably, like well, definitely we would have, you know, something like this. So let's just call this the free plan. Free plan. Um, and then I would have some things below it, right? So if I duplicated this and turned it into a... Uh, you know, any, any way you wanted to design this, right? So I could do zero, I could do a trial package, and then, you know, call it free. Um, and then, you know, obviously have an icon list under here. And again, you are gonna be on your own on styling this. I will show you that. I came in here and said, um, Actually, I'm okay with that, but what I'm going to do is duplicate that so they all have check marks. And then style, the icon could be that orange. Uh, the icon could be a little bit bigger. The, I 
could center it. Uh, whoops, uh, the text. I'm gonna do, let's keep with that. We're gonna go with open sans. Um, we're gonna go a little bit bigger. And then I probably wanna center this. Um, and if not center it, I could do like a padding or margin left. You know, I'm gonna have them strapped out here. Meanwhile, you could start editing that column, right? So edit the column and just to start it off, I'm gonna do a border, um, just the box shadow. I'm gonna drop that box shadow down a bit and then also give it a nice curved edge. Right, and you could literally, let me throw in one more thing, right, button. Um, this is just my placeholder, so I'm gonna do it like that. And I know this doesn't look good. Uh, first thing I would do is edit the column and then start with my margins inwards. That way I could kind of do something um, to make it start looking good with my styling, right? So. Uh, you know, again, I'm not going to focus too much time on this. Um, the button color would be Spanish style equals color white. Um, and I would just like deck this out, right? So for this, you know, you could do a different heading, a different background. Um, And just go go all in right so you can start there and then lay out with more padding uh, trial package and and again this is this is not we're, we're not here for this right once I have that one I would just duplicate it and duplicate it and then remove the other columns now here's the big part this is what everybody's asking me for once you have these packages and again this is not what I would leave it as um, and this is which is free Elementor, all right? You click update, you preview the changes. Now I am using Google Chrome, but all the inspectors kind of do this. You're just gonna have to figure out your inspector. And I'll come down here to this free listing. Now this is just visual. So that means when you change in the back of Elementor, that did nothing for this. So literally, I create my packages on the back of Listing Pro, right? And I make them have what I want. I make the duration. I put all that information up here, which is just visual, but I steal the button. So inspect, right click inspect. And then you're gonna see that it's all, here's where it picked, but there's form right here. If I edit that as HTML, it'll grab the whole, like there's the starting form and then the end form with the forward slash form. I want that whole code for that free button. So I just copied that out of there, and now I'll go back to my plan. And the button's not going to look the same, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'll put in HTML for an HTML block. And uh, I'm just going to paste that code. So there you have that. Now, of course, you could start it off with this code here, center. And uh, it'll close the center. You want to grab the closing center and put that at the very bottom of this one, right? And now I've got that button centered. And with a little styling in CSS, you can definitely switch it up, but hopefully that matches your theme colors. So that's the first way to do it, right? This is not looking good like that. Let's remove that. And maybe maybe we just center the whole thing, right? We're just like, hey, center. Um, and But of course, these won't be the same width. Uh, maybe you want a divider in the middle. <laughs> maybe you don't want the divider width so big. You know, so uh, maybe the space in between has a little bit more. And you can see how with just a little bit of styling, you can start decking these things out, right? All right, so that covers that. You know how to rip the button out, right? So we're gonna save that button with the center. I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of these sections Actually, I'm gonna delete the whole thing. And then with Elementor Pro, I make it a little bit easier because it's already styled out. If you type out price, pricing will give you a pricing table. And of course, I'm just gonna duplicate this so I can see what I'm looking at. 
And literally, you've got something similar, right? So here, uh, I'm just going to jump down to the footer button and uh, remove the button text, remove the button link, and in the additional info, I would paste my code. It's the same thing, right? And I'm just going to take a few minutes to kind of style this out. Um, free trial package. What was my? It was Open Sans and Poppins. So we're going to go with the background style of orange. Let's go to the title Poppins. I guess I could have shaved and saved that. Uh, 25. Something like that. I'm waiting for it to reload. Subtitle would be what? Open Sans. Let's try also 24, too big, 21, 20. <coughs> Shoot, I didn't mean to hit duplicate. Hey, at least I can see it. Uh, edit, it's kind of like light gray. It, I promise it'll, it'll tighten up here in a minute. Um, currency symbol, uh, again, style all this stuff. Features, uh, I'm gonna go back over to the features and um, the icon color, I'm gonna go with orange. I'm gonna delete these two, duplicate that one so I can, oops, so I can see what they look like. All right, I'm ready for you to refresh at any point, guys. For now, we know if I duplicate it, you can see what it looks like below it. Let's start to look like something, right? We're gonna remove that, or style that um, ribbon. Actually, for the ribbon on the first one, I don't even want the ribbon. Uh, but I'm going to style it and uh, get it to where I want it. And then when I duplicate it, I'll remove it off the others. The listing items, we want to go down to features. Um, the color would be secondary. The width, I can control that. The divider width, I can control that. I'm probably going to go down a little bit. All right. So let's just try some of these. Wait, we didn't change the text. So I, it's really acting funny, right? Normally this doesn't happen. His server's been a, a pain in, uh, hey, a pain in my thing. Uh, what do we say? Features, the typography. Just making sure I'm editing the right thing. 16, 17. Uh, maybe something like that. All right, let's change the pricing to make the pricing look decent. Um, maybe that orange uh, typography. And again, I would go down this with uh, a little bit more time. I just kind of want to show you what, what is going on here. All right, so now that I have that first one, uh, I'm going to... You know what? This is also a great trick. Put everything in your feature item list. If you have everything in there now, you don't have to like try to duplicate it, right? So let's just say I had filled all those out with like, you know, business details, business description. Um, make sure you fill it all out the first time. That way, you know, I'm also not going to center those. I'm going to left align them and probably do the width not as much. Something like that. That way they're all just kind of lined up and uh, they'll look really good if I keep them all the same length, not going to a secondary line. So once I have that, again, delete, delete. And that's, by all means, not my finished product. Uh, actually, I'm going to edit this and give it a little bit of rounded corner. Um, maybe. Quarter. Nine. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to duplicate it two more times. So whether you have two packages, one package just in the middle, uh, you know, you could delete these. Um, but other than the spacer at the top, for this one, I'm not going to grab a spacer. Just so you can see, I'm going to unlay it on the margin at the top. That way it just gets off the top. Now, of course, I have to go back and grab my second and third buttons. Um, but that's how I build it. Matter of fact, I would go into the first one as well and um, remove that ribbon because not all of them are popular. Same thing with the third one. Ribbon is now gone, and I have my popular package in the middle. Now, of course, you can customize these. So say you have multiple colors, like there's nothing stopping me from going in and saying, hey, this background color is secondary, and the ribbon 
is orange, you know, so this is where you can get kind of uh, your own styling in here. I probably would have monthly, it doesn't look like I changed the um, type, the, uh, the font or the uh, the color, I'd probably do the, the lighter gray. And then filling all this stuff out, you know, as I went would be um, definitely ideal. But let's take a look. So same thing, remember we had this before, I'm gonna refresh the page. When you're done, you obviously want to delete the bottom half, but again, I keep it there so I can grab the buttons and it'll do the same thing. Remember, this is the free button, even though I told you this will not reflect what you've done in the back end, but you can design it and then the button takes you to exactly what you would expect. You know, this is the free submit, which technically has everything. So hopefully that helped, guys. Uh, this is the Overnight Coder. Make sure you like, subscribe, and do all that fancy stuff. Join our Facebook group. I'll have links down below. All right, thanks, bye.